We want to just start with what, what was better defensively against Las Vegas. Uh, it's been a big point of emphasis since you've come in defending better, and yeah. you get a clean sheet and, and a win with it. Yeah, our commitment to want to get behind the ball and everybody contributing in terms of defending. Uh, I thought, uh, again, that commitment was there throughout the game. It wasn't just periodically or in certain instances of the game. It was for the whole 90-plus minutes. Uh, we had everybody behind the ball. We made it difficult for, for Las Vegas to to have any sort of penetration through through our to, through our block, and, and I thought we did a really good job of that. And when you're in a slide like you guys were for a little while, what does getting a win do for that, do for the team's belief in themselves instead of just finally seeing at the end of 90 minutes that, that we're in control of this one and yeah. you really controlled it for, for the whole game? Yeah, usually it gives, obviously it gives the team a, uh, some confidence and, you know, it starts making them believe again that they can win games. In, in, our, in our case, actually, We've had a lot of close games. You know, the, the week before in Tulsa, I thought we outplayed Tulsa at their home, and I felt we should have won that game or we had a chance to win that game. Unfortunately, we let it slip by. But uh, having been that close in so many games, I mean, I can name Tulsa, Charleston at home, Charleston away, you know, a bunch of games that we had in our hands and uh, loud and away, and then we let it slip. I think with this one, with the commitment that they had in terms of getting back behind the ball and defending, now they've got an idea of what it takes, what it takes to get over the hump, what it takes to close out some of those games where we have lost at the end. Yeah, and I mean, especially after that loss at Tulsa, you, you called it the most complete performance you thought you had seen all season. How does this performance compare or have, have built on that? Yeah, I thought uh, in the first half of this game, we actually were better than when we were in Tulsa. But I felt... Our second half wasn't as good. Uh, the energy level dropped due to some the conditions there. 105 degree weather uh, doesn't help. Um, but it was the same for them. At least they get to train in that in that environment every day and maybe get used to it a little bit more. But I felt coming out of the locker room, our energy level was not the same as the beginning of the game, and we ended up having to defend a lot. And that's that's okay. Sometimes that's that's going to happen. As long as we have that desire to defend and we enjoy actually defending and not allowing goals, I think we're going to be okay. And what sort of energy did the guys bring off the bench? You had, you had Antoine come on, you had Kyle come on, who obviously got that second goal. So how important was the energy that they brought in the second half? Yeah, and that was the big difference between Tulsa and this game. Uh, in Tulsa, I felt the substitutions I made and the guys that came on the, off the bench didn't really give us anything. They didn't give us a lift. They didn't give us energy. Uh, in this game, it was completely the opposite. Uh, you know, Kembo came in, had a great contribution on, off the bench. Kyle obviously came in and scored a goal. Uh, Antoine came in, did well. Uh, even Beverly, who hasn't played a lot, got in the game. And, uh, you know, his play holding holding down the fourth, right down the middle of the field was really good. So happy, really happy about their contribution off the, off the bench. Uh, not so much in Tulsa, but this game was a little different. And, and that's also a lesson. You know, guys all on the bench, they know they're going to get in. They know I'm going to use my subs. So they got to be ready mentally to come in and give us a lift. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned it, fatigue setting in, the, the, the level not as high. Kyle comes in, gets that second goal, and in a stretch where it's really kind of been brutal all season, how huge was that second goal for the team? I mean, it, it, it is big. It is uh, huge, as you call it. Uh, you know, the main thing is the defending part. Uh, if we had come out of that game winning one nothing, or if we had won one nothing, I would have been happy. But obviously, getting that second goal, that insurance goal, gives us a little bit of, of a cushion. Uh, so you're not panicking at the end of the game. Uh, you know, I'm talking about players on the field, and they play with a little bit more comfort, with a little bit more confidence, and that's what happened. And we were able to close out the game pretty, pretty good. Yeah, and you. Have Joe, who made seven saves to kind of preserve that win. There was a couple of close calls, but overall, the the defending, you know, finally able to get that shutout. Does that mean maybe more to you than it would for a, for a 2-1 or, or obviously a 2-2 result to get the shutout and go all 90 without conceding? Without a doubt. Uh, in fact, the speech or the talk before the game was, was let's, let's see if we can get a clean sheet. Let's see if we can keep the ball out of our goal. And uh, the guys did an unbelievable job, obviously, in front of Joe. And then when it got past our last line, Joe came up with some good saves. Uh, and, and that's what we expect. We expect our goalkeepers to save one or two balls that will keep us in the game. 
uh, and Joe did that really well this this week, and hopefully he can continue to do that. Yeah, and, and finally, you've put up a couple of um, good performances against teams on the road in very tough environments. You have another tough environment to play in San Antonio yeah. next week. What do you take from these last two games of the road trip to kind of go into that last game? Just build in, build in on what we did in Tulsa, what we did in Vegas. Uh, we, uh, I thought in, in both games, at least Vegas in the first half especially, uh, we were able to keep the ball. We were able to move the ball and create some opportunities going forward. In Tulsa, we did the whole game. Uh, unfortunately, defensively, we weren't as good. One area that we can we can get better at is defending the set pieces. I thought Vegas got got on the end of too many of the set pieces and created some danger in front of our goal. We have to defend better. We have to defend with more commitment and desire in those in those instances and and uh, and not give up goals. Uh, San Antonio, obviously, quality team, well coached, well organized. They've been they've they're the defending champions. They're at home, so it's going to be very difficult, much more difficult than, than Vegas was. But I feel confident that we can go in there and get something out of that game.